Hey, what's up everyone? It's Leo here again, and as you guys might have noticed, I'm not an English speaker. I'm from Brazil, but I'll try my best though to make another video on Rainbow Six Siege. Today's video is a subscriber request. Nathan Rock asked for tips to play as Lone Wolf in situations when he doesn't have communication with teammates and they are not playing objectively. Well, I will divide this topic into videos. This first one will be focused on defense. Next one, we will talk about attack. So before we start, I just want to aware that play uh, just by yourself is not a good idea. Rainbow Six Siege is a team-based game. Even though if you decide to play as Lone Wolf, I would highly recommend you to play casual matches instead ranked. Uh, okay, so I have a few tips here, and the first one is about the character you're gonna pick. I always go for the fastest operators. In defense, Bandit is the speedier than any other. He's super light, so you can have a great mobility and agility to move. Keep in mind, his speed is very important when you don't have teammates. You gotta be able to move around and create your own path because you are by your own. According to this logic, I also would recommend Frost. She has medium speed but a great gun though. Her trap slows down enemies and you can take advantage of that. Valkyrie is also a great character due to her cameras. You can deploy them around the map and use her intel to flank enemies and make your own game. Finally, we also have Pulse. His gadget gives you uh, such a freedom. If you decide to stay inside the objective, you know what's going on from where enemies are coming, or if you decide to go out for a roaming season, you also have a good orientation. When you play as Lone Wolf, I would suggest always to play as a roamer, because it's too risky to stay inside the objective once you can't rely on your teammates. If you don't get their information, enemies can corral you, so if you stay in, try to get some cover but with some possibilities to run away in case enemies get too close. However, if you decide to be outside the objective as a roamer, uh, try to break trap doors and windows during the preparation phase. That way you can create new paths quietly. If you destroy something during the action, enemies will hear it and you will give your position away. However, to make it work, you gotta watch the cameras constantly. They are your only information source as long as your teammates don't talk to you. So look at them all the time in order to succeed. And it's also very important. When you die, you gotta keep using the cameras and spot enemies when you feel like your teammates are in a good position to take advantage of it. By the way, even the deaths are a good source of information. The schools shows the location that a teammate died, so you know where the enemy might be, at least the direction you get. You also can use your yellow dot to help your team. When you are playing by yourself, you gotta pay attention to all these small details. They may help you to survive, and after all, you gotta keep in mind, Despite of playing as a lone wolf, you're not alone though. Analyze your teammates' position and what they're doing. What's the objective status? Helping out. You know, there's a Stephen Ambrose quote from the bestseller Band of Brothers that says, We stand alone together. Well, that's it for today's video, guys. The next one, we will talk about how to be a lone wolf on attack. Catch you later and bye, amigos. Now watch me, Nana. Okay. Now watch me, whip, whip. Watch me, Nana.